Okay, on this one, we've got uh, seven plus two root five squared. What does that mean? Well, you know what it means, right? When I put a two on an X or on anything, it means two of those multiplied. If I go three squared, that means three times three, which is nine, huh? So the little two in the upper right-hand corner means two of those multiply, doesn't it? So it's the same thing here. A little two on, in the upper right-hand corner of anything means two of those multiplied. So I'm gonna go, okay, so seven plus two root five, and then another seven plus two root five, right? That's what a little two in the upper right-hand corner always means. It means two of those multiplied together. We know that. Okay, so let's do it. Now, how, how's it gonna happen? Well, the first one, you know how to do uh, two parentheses. The first one is gonna go to both. So seven times seven, that's easy, 49 plus. Now, what happens when seven multiplies two root five? Well, let's write down the rule um, for multiplying roots. Outside numbers multiply outside numbers and inside numbers multiply inside numbers. Outsiders with outsiders, insiders with insiders. Like, it's like prison, it's a perfect analogy. Um, outsiders with outsiders, insiders with insiders. So when, 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 the, sorry, when the seven goes there, we did that, and then seven times two root five, Who's going to multiply? The outsiders, the seven and the two, 14. We're having to stay with the same color. Uh, the 14 and the five stays inside. He's done. I kind of scribbled that a lot. Are we good there so far? Is that making sense? So seven, the whole number outsider seven, multiplied two root five. And the seven and the two are both outsiders, right? It's like prison. If you go to visit a prison, I have a friend who does prison uh, he goes and teaches Bible studies at, at prison, and he's been inviting me to go join him. I think I'm going to probably join him pretty soon. Anyway, but when he goes there, he goes home after the evening's over. He's an outsider, right? He has not committed a crime for which he's been locked in prison. He's not an insider, right? He goes and visits, or like when you're playing Monopoly and you go by the jail, but you're just visiting, or as opposed to being locked in the little jail thing, right? So the seven and the two are outsiders, they multiply, and the five is an insider. It stays inside. Okay, he's done. And now it's the uh, two root five's turn. He's going to go there. What's going to happen? Same thing. The seven and the two are going to multiply on the outside. The five stays on the inside. And then there, what's going to happen? Same thing. The two and two multiply on that side to be four. And the five times five, I'll just write them next to each other. Inside. You can make it 25 if you want or just make it five times five, either way. It's gonna end up sending a five out or being a plain five, square root of 25 is plain five, same thing either way. Is that making sense? This two root five went boom and boom, and when he did, outside numbers multiplied outside, inside multiplied inside. The two root five times seven, the two and seven multiplied on the outside, and then two root five, two root five, the two twos multiplied to be four, and five and five, those both go inside. Okay, let's do some simplification now. So 49, plus 14 root five, there's really nothing to do there. Well, actually, <laughs> nothing to do in a lot of places. Um, here, let's do this. Let me back up, I wasn't taking a good look. These two guys are like roots, right? They're exactly the same. They might say, well, this one too, no, no, this guy has two fives inside, so he's different. Uh, that the what's gonna yeah you know what's gonna happen here right these two fives are gonna send out a five it's gonna go times five in the front and be gone this is gonna be twenty you good there and the root's gone the root is completely gone there whoops <laughs> as I'm writing a root I'm writing the wrong number try that again there so you see what happened over here the two fives on the inside <clears throat> are gonna send one five to the outside. And four times five on the outside is 20, and there's no more root. Nothing left inside, so the root vanishes. It's just 20. Now, the other way, I'll say 
or you could have just made it four square root of 25, which is, which is the same thing, right? Let's see, I'll do it up here, <clears throat> right? Because you might say, well, Mr. Hayden, why didn't you just go, you know, two times two is four and then five times five is five? You could have. And that would have been four root, oops, I'm going through, four root 25, which would, and what is the square root of 25? Plain five, no more root. Four times five is same answer. Either way, you're going to get a 20 in there. Do you see that? Either way, you're going to get a 20. When you, when you multiply two root five and two root five and the outside numbers multiply outside, two times two is four, and the inside multiply inside, five times five, you can make it 25 on the inside or you can just write both fives on the inside. Either way, both those fives end up on the inside, making a 25 or just separate. It, you can do it either way. And then the two for one sends out a five, that's 20. Or if you wrote square root of 25, that's a plain five, no more root, right? You can square root the 25 to be plain five and four times five is 20. Either way, you're gonna get 20, okay? Bring down the 49. Now, what happens right here in the middle? <clears throat> well, let's take a look. 14 root five and 14 root five are like roots. You add them, 28 root five. You see that? Now, you might wonder, well, should we make it, you know, two fives there? No. No, remember when you add, you can only add like, add or subtract like roots. And when you do, you just add the numbers in the front. You don't mess with the root five thing. You just leave it. 14 and 14 is 28 and you leave the root five. Just like that. You don't mess with the root part at all. That's what's happening. Right there, we just add the 14. We keep the root, no changes needed, like that. Now, um, that's how we add or subtract roots. We just add the numbers in the front. We don't mess with the roots. It's not like multiplying. When you multiply, outside numbers multiply outside and insiders multiply inside, and you can multiply anything. Now, you may say, well, that's right. How am I going to remember all those roots? It's exactly like letters. Think about letters. The, the rules for roots are exactly the same as ours, so it's nice. Kind of reinforce it. Think if you were multiplying um, 3x or adding, sorry, 3x squared plus 4x squared. It'd be 7x squared. You don't, you don't make it x to the fourth, right? Remember when you add letters? You just you can only add like terms. You just add the numbers in the front. You keep the letter pattern the same. You say, look, it's three of these x squared things and four more of these x squared things. That makes seven of these x squared things. You don't mess with the powers at all in any way, shape, or form. So the, the rules for letters are the same as roots. You can only add letters who, that are like, and in such cases, you just add the numbers in the front. You don't mess with the powers. <clears throat> okay. And now, 49 and 20, what do these add to be? 69. Because they're just plain old numbers. So they'll just add up to be 69. Bring down the 28 root five, and we're done right there. That's our final answer. Why don't we add those together? Because you can't. You cannot add. Why not? Because you only add or subtract like roots, huh? Like we've talked about. Same thing for letters. Good. Could I add 3x squared and 4 plain x? No. Unlike. Cannot add. Again, the, the rules for letters and roots are the same. You cannot add different letter powers. You cannot add different. If this, if this 69 had its own root 5, then they would be like, and then we could add them. But he doesn't. It's a plain 69. This, this is like looking at 69 plus 28x, right? Those can't be added. They're unlike terms. This one has an x, this one doesn't. This one has a root, this one doesn't. You cannot add them. You can multiply anything for letters and roots, but you cannot add or subtract unless they're like. And when you do add like roots, like these two we had right here, you only add the numbers in the front. You don't mess with the root, just like for letters. You only add the numbers in the front. You don't mess with the powers. Hope that well, those connections are helping you. So there we go. There's our final answer, 69 plus 28 root 5.